If you feel like experiencing comforts reserved only for the high-ranking executives or leaders of the world's superpowers, then there is no need to go through the hustle of climbing a career ladder or being elected. Instead, today we invite you on a window shopping adventure, exploring the newest representatives within the most premium class of automobiles. These flagships carry the luxury gravitas and do not tolerate any compromising on the cabin opulence and passenger satisfaction. As always, subscribe to your automotive territory and let's dream back together. Enjoy the ride! BMW 7 Series Fasten your seatbelts, because the 2023 facelift of the Beamer's flagship is controversial once again. Not only do we have to accept the gigantic kidney grill, but also new to level headlights and a boxier shape. This luxury limo will be offered in four major trims. 48 volt mild hybrids, 740i and 760i, with a 3-liter inline-six cylinder and 4.4-liter V8 respectively, all-electric i7 xDrive 60 and a 750e plug-in hybrid. The two liters within the shortlist are the V8 and EV that produce identical 536 horsepower and accelerate to 60 in around 4.5 seconds. The next level of comfort by BMW is mirrored in the new upholsteries like the Gansa, Merino leather and cashmere wool. The central dashboard is a single-piece curved display powered by the BMW Operation System 8, plus the executives in the back can have a theater-like experience with a personal 31-inch 8K resolution screen and a Bowerson Wilkins sound system. Rolls-Royce Phantom The pickiest connoisseurs in the automotive worlds have spoken and requested some changes to the 8th generation of the Rolls-Royce flagship that will materialize in the new expression for the Phantom Series 2. The light-touch visual and aesthetic enhancements make the Spirit of Ecstasy badge more prominent. The Pantheon grille gets subtle geometric changes and is now illuminated, while the headlights are graced with the intricate laser-cut bezel starlights creating a visual connection with the Starlight headliner in sight. The wheels get new 3D melt stainless steel design with triangular facets and a fully or part polished finish, or disc wheels with polished stainless steel and black lacquer. This Apex sedan will be sold in a standard and a stretched by 8.6 inches long wheelbase versions powered by the master-crafted 6.75-liter twin turbo V12 with 563 horsepower. Finally, the cabin decorations of the 2023 Rolls-Royce Phantom bring back the bespoke Platino line with the Italian and bamboo fabrics. Lucid Air Grand Touring Motor Trend's 2022 Car of the Year, longest range, fastest charging, largest trunk, and finally, one of the most aerodynamic electric vehicles in the world. All of these titles have already allowed the Lucid Air to assemble a solid fan base, so the ramp up in production numbers is highly anticipated, though not guaranteed. The latest versions of the Air to come out after the limited Dream Edition trim are the Grand Touring and Grand Touring Performance. Inspired by California and aircraft industry, these GTs have an elegantly efficient design and a groundbreaking in-house developed 900V architecture. The Duo gets a 112 kWh battery with ultra-fast recharging and 516 or 460 miles of range reserves. A dual motor all-wheel drive powertrain makes either 819 or 1050 horses. The Grand Touring package would mean a Napa leather upholstery in four styles, all glass roof, several smart screens, including a 34 inch curved 5K display, and finally, a surreal sound system. Audi A8 as it was previewed by the Grand Sphere concept, the future of Audi's flagship might be all-electric. But for now, 
the luxury sedan sticks to its internal combustion underpinnings and goes through a mild redesign. The car adopts a wider single frame grille, fresh headlights, new OLED taillights, and new wheels, sized from 19 to 21 inches. In case of the sporty S8, the grille comes clad in chrome, plus there are four flow optimized tailpipes. Quattro all wheel drive is standard for all the A8s, but the engine options really depend on your shopping market. In the US, the choice is between two mild hybrids the A8's 335 horsepower 3-liter V6 or the S8's 4-liter twin turbo V8 with 563 HP. Elsewhere, the V8 also exists in a lesser tune, there are two diesel mills and a plug-in hybrid with 60 electric miles. The interior of the sedan is adorned with Velletta and Vilcona leather and Dynamica microfiber. The seats are equipped with lumbar support, massage and ventilation and the interior can be reconfigured into a four-passenger car. As before, the infotainment features two screens, the cockpit is digital, and you can opt for a head-up display. As per my own observations, smashing the like button drastically improves your chances of being in luck. So give the thumbs up button a proper tap, and in return, enjoy an unlimited supply of positive vibes going your way from automotive territory. Thank you, and let's proceed! Genesis G90 Back in 2015, the full-size sedan G90 became the first model of the newly created Hyundai's luxury division, and now it is getting modernized to continue thriving in this dynamic and competitive segment. The second-generation G90 follows the new design direction set by the brand's latest models. There is a massive Genesis grille and the thinnest possible twin headlamps with the two-tiered flashers and defenders while the new taillights are stretching over the entire width of the rear end. Stunning 20-inch alloy wheels with angular spoke design also help to distinguish the new G90. The model gets a multi-chamber air suspension, advanced noise-canceling system, auto-closing doors, quilted leather seats, 17-speaker sound, and a new 12.3-inch infotainment. Quite expectedly, the previous V8 is discontinued, and now the propulsion is delivered by a turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 with 375 horsepower. By the way, the long wheelbase G90 gets additional mild hybrid tech, which raises the power output to 415 ponies. Mercedes-AMG EQE The smaller electric sedan from Mercedes gets AMG treatment and arrives into modifications. The models carry the same 90.6 kWh battery pack as the non-AMG EQEs, but these units get an extra permanent magnet electric motor on the front axle. In case of the EQE 43, this means 469 horses and 633 pound-feet, while the EQE 53 raises the output bar to 617 HP and 701 pound-feet of torque. With the optional Dynamic Plus package, these numbers can be further bumped to 677 HP and 738 pound-feet, enabling the fastest acceleration to 60 in 3.3 seconds and the top speed of 149 miles per hour. The range figures reach 331 miles in the WLTP cycle, and AMG claims that the models will support DC fast charging at 170 kilowatts. The options list could include the recently introduced 56-inch hyperscreen and BUX system, which is offered with the special AMG functions and also allows the front passengers to watch video content and use the internet on the move. Lexus LS Currently in the middle of its life cycle, the 2022 LS is available exclusively in three modifications – Base, F-Sport and Hybrid. All of them offer distinctive styling, enhanced safety tech and slightly retuned suspension settings. As before, the LS500 models are motivated by 3.5 twin turbo V6 engine that returns 416 horses and 442 pound-feet. It comes mated to a 10-speed automatic from the Japanese Isen and can be had both in rear and all-wheel drive. 
The Hypertelas relies on a combo of a 3.5 liter V6, two electric motors and a 10C battery for a combined output of 354 horses and 25 MPG. This model also benefits from a more sophisticated adaptive air suspension. The interior of the LS is on par with many German rivals. Plus, it can be made even more premium with the various optional packages. Customers can get 16 to 28-way adjustable seats with heating, ventilation and massage, leather upholstery, rear buckets and four-zone climate. On the tech side, there is the recently updated 12.3-inch infotainment with smartphone integration and voice commands. Volvo S90 The flagship Volvo sedan appeals to those buyers who appreciate Scandinavian design and subtle luxury. Facelifted just a year ago, the model boasts of the brand's signature Thor Hammer LED headlights, minimalist exterior and fresh wheels. As usual, the S90 offers a wide variety of powertrains. But in case of the US market, the selection is represented by a newly added 2.0-liter 4-cylinder V6 and an enhanced PHEV. The former mill is assisted by a mild hybrid tech, is good for 295 horses and is paired with an 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. The plug-in now exists in two guises, making 400 or 455 horses combined. These models get 11 and 18 kWh batteries and can travel around 38 miles in electric charge. The cabin design of the S90 relies on high-end materials like open-pore wood, genuine leather and brushed aluminum. Plus, there is a new 9-inch vertical infotainment screen with Android software. Optional extras include a premium Bowers & Wilkins audio, an advanced air cleaning system, and a wireless charger for your smartphone. Mercedes-AMG C43 AMG is applying a new formula to the models of its entry-level designation. The C43 is the second vehicle from the brand to arrive with a Formula 1 enhanced 4-cylinder engine instead of the previously used 3.0-liter V6. The new generation model adopts a 2.0-liter mill that uses an electric gasoline exhaust turbocharger and is assisted by a mild hybrid tech. The setup produces 408 horsepower and 369 pound-feet plus the 48-volt belt-driven starter generator adds extra 14 horses. 9-speed gearbox, all-wheel drive and rear-wheel steering are standard equipment. The chassis of the sedan is enhanced with an AMG-specific ride control suspension, 18 to 20-inch wheels and AMG brakes with 14.6 and 12.6-inch discs. Special attention is given to the cabin of the C43 sedan. The steering wheel is wrapped in Nepal leather, the seats are upholstered in the Artico man-made leather and micro-cut microfiber. Plus, the latest MBX infotainment gets a 19.9-inch screen with navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Genesis G80 Sport All new for the 2022 model year, the situation of the G80 sedan targets those customers who prefer more responsive driving and a sportier cabin feel. The 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged V6 engine with 375 ponies is the key part of the Sport package, but the latter is not limited simply to performance numbers. From the outside, the model gets reworked front and rear bumpers a distinct rocker molding and extra chrome detailing on the grille. Completing the exterior updates are huge model-specific 20-inch wheels accompanied by black or red brake calipers. The car benefits from a rear-wheel steering system, while its cabin gets an exclusive three-spoke steering wheel, leather upholstery and an optional carbon fiber dash trim. Genesis specialists also addressed the previously criticized suspension tuning. So now, the G80 adaptive suspension features firmer springs all around and other stabilization tweaks. Who would you say has the best executive sedans in the world? Britain, Germany, or maybe the rising Asian school of posh? I'll be waiting for you in the comment section to debate this topic. 
subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the upcoming reviews, ring the bell and smash the like button if you haven't already. More informative car content is waiting for you beyond the links on the screen. May the truck be with you and glory to Ukraine!